Swapna Suresh, accused in the gold smuggling case, will release the evidence of Shaj Kiran threatening her to withdraw her statement in the gold smuggling case at 3 p.m. on Friday. While addressing the media, she had mentioned that she will hand over the audio and video evidences to them after consulting with her lawyer. Swapna alleged that Shaj Kiran, a native of Kotarakara, who came as an intermediary for the chief minister, threatened her. She said that, as her life is in danger, will disclose all the evidence collected. Shaj Kiran said Swapna Suresh is her friend and that he had not threatened her. I don't know the chief minister and Kodiyari Balakrishnan have not met M. Shivashankar. He also challenged Swapna to release the audio if she has any. Meantime, a special team led by crime branch ADGP investigating the case will meet on Friday. Will question PC George and Swapna Suresh in the conspiracy case. Sarita, the accused in the Sola case, will also be questioned. Meanwhile, ADGP Vijay Sakre on Thursday said he had not tried to contact Swapna Suresh. Sakre said that he did not know Shaji Kiran and had nothing to do with the case. He was responding to Swapna Suresh's revelation that the ADGP had constantly called on Shaji Kiran's phone. Meanwhile, a special team led by the head of the crime branch will be investigating the conspiracy behind Swapna's revelation. A team of 1 SP and 10 DYSPs has been assigned the task of investigation. The team was assigned to probe former minister KT Jalil's allegation that the conspiracy of Swapna and PC George was behind Swapna's revelations. The Kerala High Court on Thursday dismissed the anticipatory bail plea moved by two of the main accused in the gold smuggling case of 2020, Swapna Suresh and Sarit PS, in a new case registered by the Kerala police after Suresh's recent allegations against Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan. Justice Viju Abraham observed that the offences alleged in the first information report registered against Suresh under Section 153, provocation with intention to cause riot, and 120b, criminal conspiracy of the Indian Penal Code, are both bailable offences. He also noted that the second petitioner, Sarath, was not even arraigned as an accused. The court therefore deemed it fit to dismiss the plea for anticipatory bail. News Desk, Global.